having a wonderful morning. So this morning is, is uh, this morning is a really fun topic. So I'm gonna share with you the secret. Okay, the secret. Uh, I don't know about exactly secret, but I'm gonna show you guys how to pull a beautiful espresso shot. Uh, something like if you guys watch from Instagram or the YouTube channel. So whenever you guys watch YouTube channel or Instagram, that the shot looks wonderful and very silky and dark and chocolatey. The, the fact is that uh, most the YouTubers or Instagram people uh, tape those footages. It's all about the coffee beans. Okay, there's no. The secret is the coffee beans, especially the dark coffee, uh, dark coffee beans. So this is the uh, my buddy's good brother's coffee here. So this is a dark roast. So this is the Demello coffee, medium to dark. So medium to dark, it's okay. But especially dark roast, uh, fresh. I'm talking about fresh dark roast, give you that wonderful, wonderful colors. The fact is, you know, I mean, most times you guys wonder, you know, whenever you watch the Instagram shots or YouTube, the shot looks beautiful, but is it taste good? In reality, is most people making those videos, they don't care about that. Okay, they only care about, you know, what? How many views I'm gonna get, or how many likes I'm gonna get on my Instagram page, Instagram on the post. So kind of like I'm gonna show you guys. Kind of, so this is kind of like sad reality of making video, no, making those footages because. I mean, for us, okay, for us, it's all about making great coffee in the morning, okay? Make better coffee, fact is. Uh, I want it to taste good. But sometimes the shot is not correlated to, the good looking shot is not correlated to, you know, good tasting coffee. Because I know some of you love the lighter roast, very fruity, and you're never gonna get a great shot from lighter roast, period. Okay, but especially with a darker roast like this, I'm gonna show you. Okay, I'm gonna show you. So let's pull the shot, and then I'm gonna use the big cup here so you get, you get to see the whole just of it. And then uh, again, dark roast. You know, I'm gonna uh, let's flip the camera. Okay, and then I'm gonna show you guys close up. Hold on a second here. Okay, hold on a second. Here we go. So especially with the darker roast, with this one, it's very oily too, okay? Oily and dark. <clears throat> so this one is, uh, again, the dark roast. It's called liquid amber. Uh, I mean, if you get a, like most dark roast, uh, make, make sure you get the fresh ones, okay? Fresh ones make a big difference in the shot quality. All right, here we go. Uh, by the way, how many people actually use a bottomless portal filter, okay? Uh, personally, whenever I'm making regular coffee at home, I, I, I just use a spouted, less messy. So, <clears throat> unless you're gonna dial them just right. Other than that, you know, you're gonna get a pretty crappy shot. So I'm just gonna heat up my cups here. I'm just gonna heat up my cups as well. All right. Okay. Get the shot ready. Put the coffee ones in. So it's not the grinder either. Built-in grinder works just fine as well. <clears throat> Just make sure I got. Okay. And then the one thing I'm gonna add, I don't, I don't know this is secret. I don't think this is secret. Whenever I use the bottomless portal filter, I definitely like to use the WDT tools. Because especially built-in grinder, they usually give you some clumps. Okay, I'm just gonna do, so it's nice and easy. Uh, is tools gonna make it better? <clears throat> Not really, okay? It's gonna be give you a enjoyable workflow. It's gonna, be, it's gonna make a significant difference in the shot quality. 
I know some people say otherwise, but no, no, let's see. So I'm using the Bravo distribution tool here. The thing about that, you have to go, if I did that three times, and I have to go opposite direction. So give you that perfectly even temp, okay, uh, distribute. I'm just gonna do a temp here. So now we are ready, okay. So this is the how for the great shot, okay, the good looking shot for your Instagram page or YouTube channel, doesn't matter which one you wanna use. So let's take a look guys. So I can show you guys with the lights on. Uh, uh, I think I'm still gonna do like one to two ratio maybe, one to 2.5. Okay. There we go. Let me give you guys a close look. Man, is it look pretty? Looks pretty good there. Look at that. Okay. The all beautiful crema. About 25 seconds. 40 gram. If you're looking at this, I mean ratio is right on, spot on. Okay. Look at this just look like dark chocolate here looks spectacular okay so this is again the secret is the use special dark roast freshly roasted dark roast give you this wonderful wonderful color and texture fantastic fantastic you know what since we have the beautiful shot of espresso, I think I'm gonna be, let's uh, 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 steam some milk right now, okay? And then, because with dark, uh, dark espresso, dark, dark crema, give it a wonderful contrast whenever you make latte or cappuccino. They're fantastic, okay? So let's do quick. Steaming here. Steel of crema is intact, so that's good. That's a good thing. Okay, I'm just gonna wait till steam is going. <coughs> okay. So use it takes about 45 seconds. Uh, comes to okay the latte art. There's no secret, okay. And by the way, there's thousands and thousands of videos out there how to steam the milk or latte art. In reality, is I mean you just gotta practice. Okay? You just gotta practice every day. Unfortunately, I only practice what twice a day. Okay, so let's take a look. Goodness. So here's the hard part. Putting the shots is easy. <clears throat> Great latte art is a different story. So I'm just gonna tilt it as far as I can. And just start doing some design here. Something like that. Actually looks pretty good. Okay, I have to say. Let me give you guys a close look. Oh, here we go. As you can see, uh, the dark crema from dark, darker roast, they bring out the whites very nicely. 
Yeah, I mean, overall, I mean, you know, that's pretty good looking latte art there. Again, the having that really dark, uh, dark roast, it pops. Okay, so if you go to most coffee shops, if you order a uh, specialty latte or cappuccino, I bet most of they are using the medium to dark roast. Okay, so I mean, if you want to try to impress your friends or family members, maybe on weekends, maybe show off perhaps, instead of using your favorite lighter roast. Get yourself a Dr. Roast, okay? A Dr. Roast for your friends and families because that bring out that, that beautiful contrast. So let's try this coffee, okay? Cheers, guys. You know, I mean, this is fine, fine coffee, okay? Very, yeah, it's fine. I'm not just gonna add a pump of caramel. I'm telling you, just one pump, to bring out the <clears throat> sweetness in your coffee, especially using your whole milk. Yeah. Cheers. Man, this is it. Just perfect. The perfect cup of coffee. Anyway, uh, uh, let me know, okay? Let me know in the comment section, what is your favorite coffee? Okay? I'd love, love to hear from you because uh, uh, this afternoon, I'm going to be brewing some coffee with uh, one of my favorite coffee from, not one of my favorite, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to be trying a coffee from Hatch. So this is a lighter roast. Okay. If I'm going to put the shot on this machine, it's going to be terrible looking. This can be taste good, most likely it tastes great. But it comes to aesthetic wise, you're not going to get a whole lot of likes with this coffee pulling the shot of espresso so anyway it's kind of like fun though okay i have to say uh making coffee for yourself is a lot of fun but also how many of you actually uh take pictures of your coffee in the morning and share that to your social media okay yeah be honest okay folks be honest i, I don't know are you the one Go to coffee shop and take picture of your latte art. Yeah, let me know. Let me know in the comment section. We're not gonna judge you. But again, uh, if you're just joining us, the key to uh, putting a great espresso shot, great looking, okay? Not the great shot, but great looking shot is a darker roast. Try the definitely darker roast. So I do enjoy the Brent's liquid amber for all my Instagram photos and. YouTube pictures. Uh, I, I think uh, Bruin has a discount code for you guys as well. I, I believe it's 25% off, okay? 25% off for uh, first time buyer. So I'm gonna put the link down below. So yeah, make sure to check it out, okay? Okay, uh, try the dark, uh, freshly roasted darker roast. You're gonna get the best results for that gray looking shot. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna check the live chat here. Make sure to join the live chat too. We have a great group of communities. Every morning, show up. Hold on a second here. We got some people, we got Jonathan's on, we got David. Let's see, you got Brent. Dave, okay, hold on. Coast Coast, Carlos. Check your mic. Yeah, my mic is, he's a, ha, yeah, hold on a second. Is, is sound okay with the mic for? Let's check my mic. Sound better now or hopefully sounds okay? All right. Okay, so some seems like that my sound is not that great at the moment. We got Paula as well. Anyway, at some point, maybe I have to upgrade my microphone but let's see here I think the same okay I think I'm gonna call it a day right now we have some difficulty with some sound here anyway I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning and I'm gonna see you guys next time